Hey everyone, Surreal Canine here, coming back with more La Mulana 2. In the last episode, we uh, found the new path into Anmufu, but we didn't actually do a whole lot there besides uh, killing a mini boss. We did, on the other hand, discover that the uh, feather lies beyond the corridor of blood, so uh, that is where we are going because I want my double jump. Up we go. We still don't have any sign of uh, where the Jed Pillar could possibly be, so uh, this area is closed off to us for the time being. Don't stop us from going in here, though. This is such a weird area. Alright, first of all, Shrine of the Frost Giants. Oh, uh, is that Mulder? Oh. These boots I'm wearing are slip proof in the snow. Oh, good for you, I guess. So when did I get so many coins? Alright, we are going to figure out how to how to kill this boss. Probably got something to do with those ice blocks, but uh, I don't know what right off the bat. <coughs> Either make him crash into them, or uh, drop them on top of him, are my first two guesses. Because he doesn't seem to be vulnerable to my weapons. Okay, drop them on him. I killed him. Poka. And now I gotta teleport out. <laughs> oh well. A small price to pay for uh, having killed a boss that humiliated me a couple episodes ago. Back to Valhalla.
Back to the Shrine of the Frost Giants! Valhalla! <laughs> Dang, that popcorn is always getting in the way. Oh well, at least he drops a lot of coins when you kill him. Down we go! Until, you know, I fall into another inescapable trap. <laughs> you know it's gonna happen, guys! It's La Mulana! The big jump? Big jump with the big jump. Yeah! Anything going on? Wait, what? What? Something is going on here. The Vedas texts constitute a belief system. One belief is that when we reach death, we will return to water. The Destiny Tablet is the proof of dominion handed down by the Sky People. The Anunnaki Lord Anu says the Fierce Beast Anzu the Guardant. You, you have a boomerang. Baba Yaga. The Chimera experiments gave them their arms and legs. They yield boomerangs with astonishing dexterity. Zoria. Oh, that's a different. Baba Yaga. They slide across the floor atop ice mortars using a broom to push themselves along. If you break their mortars, they will become a enraged, striking out at you with their brooms. They're uh, something from Russian folklore, I think. Actually, I don't have enough weights. jump across this, so uh, why would I, though? Alright, whatever. We're going to the Village of Departure and buying some more weights. See? I told- guys, I told you it was gonna happen. We're gonna have to go back to Valhalla, through the Corridor of Blood, through the Shrine of the Ice Giants again. Fourteen weights should be plenty. If it turns out to be nothing, then uh, so be it. We'll just carry on.
one or two of these. Ultimately pointless. Uh... Oops. Dang it. Kind of stopped being funny a while ago. Okay, well, if that was pointless, then I am just the. Uh... Actually, no, that's a bad idea. Oh, well, back to Valhalla once again. And let's just skip town, I guess. I don't know. Going someplace uh, with uh, with chaos seems like something worth asking. All right, getting on out of here. Down we go. Ancient chaos, yeah. that you do not have what you wish for. What you wish for exists precisely because there is nothing. It is that which cannot be seen by the impatient. to the underworld. A dangerous pitfall, Falanda Farad. At the bottom of its mall awaits Pressfelder, the devourer of corpses. Did we just not ex one more place. Uh, 
Search the corridor of blood that are lands that can only be reached by the alternative path. is worshipped. Make your wishes heard. Hmm, okay. This giant enemy crab makes me a little nervous. Kali Yuga is the Age of Steel, now blunted. The age where virtue disappeared, replaced by conflict and despair. Whoa! I, uh... I just scanned the Sphinx and I got a Sphinx data. Okay. children await down three paths. The kingdom will awaken, awaken when all three paths have been conquered. That sounds eerily familiar. Sounds like what we had to do with Tiamat's children in the first game. another cog here, or a slot for a cog, rather. Let's see. We sealed Echidna with our power. If you seek the power to destroy Echidna, defeat the eleven children, the cog will reawaken this land. What's in the chest? The map of the Hall of Malice. This is the Gigas Seal. Okay, that is a Life Seal. This is Delphine's room. Delphine acquired. 
Oh, okay. Are we just supposed to scan each of the children before uh, before we wake them up? Because I can do that. Hydra's room. Bernan Hydra. Get up there, no double jump. There's a secret in this room. Anzu, the Lord of Beasts, that stops time. Anzu's power is lost only when time is frozen. Those who can harness time will acquire the Destiny Tablet, Proof of the Dark Lord. Demian Lion. Ergelnir the giant rules over the world of frost. When the earth and moon are seen in heaven, he shall awaken. Chimera! Cerberus's room. Echidna's room. Okay, this is where Echidna is. I can't actually get out from here. Well, it seems I've been bamboozled. But, uh, we have a new place to explore, and that's good enough for me. So, uh, next time, we are going to be exploring more of the Hall of Malice. I hope we find something good. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.